Hi guys, so let's get to the part of today's lesson where you're actually going to be using the information that we just learned about how to round numbers to the nearest 10. So what you're going to do is you're going to need your math notebook and you're going to look through some of those numbers and you're going to use the numbers, either the ones from day one that were numbers that you found in around your house or in your neighborhood, as well as numbers from day two, the ones that are true about you. We're going to use those numbers to practice rounding. So you have a copy of the Google slide that you will make your own copy of into your Google Drive and it looks like this. And here's an example that I did. So I know that I am 49 years old, so this one is a number about me, okay? And so I typed in here 49. So this is a number from my notebook, 49. Then I had to think, what are those two benchmark numbers that 49 is between? So I counted by 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40, okay, and this is 49, so I know 40 has to be the lower benchmark number, and then I kept counting to get that next group of 10, so 40, 50. So I know 49 is between 40 and 50, and then I'm thinking of that roller coaster diagram, I'm thinking of the fact that <coughs> if in the ones place it's a 1, 2, 3, or 4, it's going to slide back down to the 40. But if it's 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, if it has a 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9 in the ones place, it's going to slide up to the 50. This number has a 9, so I think 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, it slides up to that bigger number. And so that's why in this example, 49 rounded to the nearest 10 would be to 50. So I'd like for you on yours to go ahead and fill in the rest of these spaces. Okay, with numbers from your math notebook, be sure to include what two groups of 10 they are, your number is between, and then where, where would you round it to? Would you slide it back down if the ones place is a 1, 2, 3, or 4, or would you slide it up to the next number if it is a 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9? Okay? When you're finished with that, go ahead and submit it through Canvas, and I'll meet you back here tomorrow.